Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering some awesome tips and tricks for the lock screen on iOS 16. If you haven't already updated your phone, definitely do it now. It is an amazing update with a bunch of great new features, especially customization to your lock screen. So go do your update and let's get started with some of these tips and tricks on iOS 16. The first thing I want to cover is using the photo shuffle wallpaper to tap between wallpapers on your lock screen. This is a very cool feature and it's very easy to set up. All you need to do is go ahead and click on add new wallpaper, scroll down until you see photo shuffle and then go ahead and set it up. You can either use featured photos but most popularly you can use select photos manually and go ahead and select all the photos you want to shuffle through. Once you have all your photos imported you can go ahead and edit every photo individually it's look and cropping and if it has depth effect turned on or not you can go ahead and edit the photos by clicking on this icon in the bottom left corner and then go ahead and choose which one you want to edit and then you can also click on these three dots to set the shuffle frequency and we're gonna go ahead and do the on tap so from now on every time you tap on your lock screen you will have a different photo which is very cool if you didn't know, with iOS 16, we got the new depth effect feature on the lock screen with a time where it basically nudges the time in between the background and the foreground for photos that are compatible and it gives it this cool 3D depth effect. But what you maybe didn't know is professionally taken portrait photos have even more options when it comes to adding it to your lock screen. You have studio which gives it this cool effect that puts a lot more focus on the subject and it's a very cool thing that you can use for some of your portrait photos. And then you have the color for color backdrop which basically allows you to change the background color of your subjects. So your subjects looks exactly the same but the background color changes. It's a very cool feature and um, yeah if you have good quality portrait photos you should definitely try this out. Another cool tip that I can share with you guys is using the duotone and color wash filters on some photos that will make it look very cool. I mostly use this with more minimal looking photos, which doesn't have a lot of color to add some color to it. So the duotone looks also pretty cool with this effect. And then you can just change the color um, to whatever you want. And then also the color wash also works really well with minimal photos. Obviously you can do this with any photos, but I feel like it just looks best with this. So yeah, definitely try this out as well with some minimal wallpapers. Talking about color wallpapers, I also want to remind you of these wallpapers that are in the collection section when adding a new wallpaper. For these, we have multicolored, we have green, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, warm silver, and cool silver. So I just wanted to remind you guys of these cool colored wallpapers just because they are animated and it looks very cool and stays animated on your lock screen. The next tip I want to give you guys is using the eyedropper tool to your advantage. When customizing or editing anything that you need to change the color of, you also have sometimes this color wheel option here, which gives you a bunch of different colors that you can choose from and be more precise with. You'll see in the top left corner is the eyedropper tool and you can just hold down on it to pick up a color out of your image. So for instance you can use this with the time to make the time match a certain color on your lock screen or even with emoji wallpapers as backgrounds you can pick up a color from an emoji and then have that match the background. So it's very cool and it's just a good tip that I recommend you try out. Another thing that I want to bring your attention to, which is not necessarily a customization tip, is the new media player on your lock screen. So we always have this little block on your screen when you're listening to music, but now with the new update, you can actually click on the thumbnail of whatever you're listening to, whether that's a podcast or music, you can click on the thumbnail and it will make it the entire screen and it will match the color of the background as well with the album cover or whatever you're listening to. This just looks really cool and I want to bring you guys' attention to it because it's one of my favorite features on iOS. 16 on the lock screen. Next up is linking your focus to your lock screen. This is another one of my favorite features that they released with iOS 16. So we've already had focus, but now you can link your focus to a respective lock screen. And whenever you turn on a certain focus from control center or you switch to that lock screen that you selected, you can go ahead and have that focus turned on for that lock screen. It's very cool and it's very easy to set up. All you need to do is go to your lock screen that you want to link to a focus, click on the link focus option, and then you're good to go. From now on, whenever you switch the lock screen that focus will be turned on. I've done this for all of my focuses and it's such a cool thing and it just adds even more customization to every focus because you already have a different home screen set up and now you can have different wallpapers and lock screens as well. 
And the last tip I want to give you guys is using widget apps to customize your home screen even more to match your lock screen. One app, for example, that you can use is Color Widgets. They have a bunch of widgets that you can go ahead and get on their app, but that's not even all. You can even get wallpapers and app icons or just themes for your phone. I really recommend checking this out since it's so easy to set up and it basically does everything for you. And this just helps a lot with customizing your iPhone even more to your taste and taking full advantage of the theme that you have on your lock screen to come over to your home screen. So this is another great thing that you can do to customize your iPhone. So yeah, those are all the tips I wanted to share with you guys for the lock screen on iOS 16. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you guys to customize your phone even more and gave you some ideas. I really recommend just playing around with some lock screens. You can have an endless amount. So definitely go ahead and play around with some lock screens, play with different wallpapers and setup styles. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are and tag me in some pictures. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up really helps me out a lot definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other ios 16 related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video i'll see you guys next time bye